All right, so this is definitely exciting. Um, I have arrived at Platts and Poppy's home. Turn around real quick, show you guys. Absolutely looks beautiful back there. Excited to be here. I'm gonna put the camera down real quick, do some introductions, and then maybe we'll get some footage later. I know it's not a fair question to ask, but what's your favorite plant? Oh, right. Um, oh, butterfly weed is 100% my favorite Butterfly plant. weed. Interesting. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Um, and that recedes for me everywhere. It That's really awesome. Does. And That's the really butterflies good. love it. And you can always find the caterpillars on there and after the butterflies um, lay the eggs. So do you, do you get a lot of monarchs over here? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's milkweed, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I never have, how do they say that? A cluster? Yeah, so beautiful. Fiber and it just comes up everywhere for me. Oh, I and I just let it bloom and then I yank it out. But that's but awesome. Love all the red back. Yeah, I just. I love this one. This Amazing. is like, Isn't that fun? So see I those three, and they couldn't be more pretty? like, like face. They receded just like that. Oh wow. Okay. I, that's I know, so perfect. perfect. Wow. And this one too. Like it's all just like perfect this year. Like how it recedes. Like, so this is a... Is that Empress Wu or Wu La La? <laughs> that is the um, Blue Angel. They do have wow. a fun flower, don't they? It, like yeah, I like the cluster I on it. I do have Empress Wu and Wu La La. Okay, I, we have Wu La La. I don't have room for Empress Wu, but Wu La La is just as... <laughs> yeah. But so is Wu La La. It's just ginormous, so... Those I had there last year. That looks so pretty mixed in. Isn't that fun? And I just let him go. This accident. side didn't. Wow. <laughs> Kevin, you come back. But this side has salvia come back. Like oh, I had all salvia back here last year. Oh, we get, we get salvia back every year in Virginia. Oh, yeah. 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 We have the, uh, what is it? The plain, the blue salvia? That one just comes back every year in Virginia. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Cool. Unflexible, yeah. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I like the, the, the Bordeaux. That's like. Always going to be a favorite. Mine too. Now, the, uh, are those prune winners um, the Dahlias? Um, these are their Sincredibles. The Is that Sincredible? They look, they're, you know, they look like the, have you seen the Dahlias that they have? No, yeah, a couple of them. Yes. They look like they the Dahlias. Yeah, it yeah, looks like, yeah, it, that's right, what I thought it, it was at first. Yeah. I love but yeah, the Sincredible is great too. So, yeah. This one is a little, it's not doing as well, and I asked about it, and um, so Janine... That, so that's why I was going to ask you, like, I'm, I, like, does it usually grow that small here, or is your no, growing... No, that's what I mean. And she asked, and she said, nope, they, they did tell me there is a problem. With so we, we spoke to her last year about that, because that's not these, but the, the, the new Suncredibles, the Saturns? The, Saturn. the Suncredibles Saturn. This is Saturn. No. Yep, and... Well, so we so sent me a wrong one, but so no so so we had the same issue then because oh. we we did some incredible Saturn and we we're like why is this not taking it's off? Not taking off. It won't bloom. The blooms would open and they would be spindly, and then um, I started just fertilizing and using a like a huh. fungicide thing. That's interesting. Have it because you know how when the leaves kind of curl, you like what is yes that yes, and they don't even get that dark center. It's interesting because I imagine I mean, this is. Hi. <laughs> this side gets most sun. Yep, all day. So all day. I would imagine they'd be way bigger than that. But yeah, we yeah. Uh, we had the same issue with it. Okay. I want to say last no the year before when they first came out. Yeah. So they, they are, were not growing as okay. tall and and, and you great luck with them. We could see the Saturn ring. Yeah. Not as as great as you wanted it to, but yeah. they were staying that condensed as well. And we were wondering why as well. Yep. That's interesting. No, she said she asked, and the breeders are aware, and they said it's definitely in the breeding. Wow. So it's, okay. It's a, a bad thing. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's that's why I asked you if they were dollars at first because they yeah, they remind me so so way I want to say six seven years ago they had this one called a Georgia Peach Dahlia. I love I can't find it anymore but beautiful Dahlia and I thought it was the yellow version of it because we grew that one last year and so because they're so small I was like is that yeah because this year I grew it and it has the dark colors but it has the yellow yeah the dark center exactly I can't remember the name of it I wish I could remember the name. I but yeah, that's, if that's what came back. No, it's not dark. It's not dark foliage. So. Right, so I started the video getting off 
off the vehicle and uh, didn't even really do anything else. We ate, came out here, and immediately started recording because it turned into a quick tour, um, but walked around with Tracy a little bit, had some conversations about um, some sunflowers and some petunias and great conversation. Uh, I absolutely love her and, and her aspect of gardening. Absolutely beautiful, but this place is just amazing. You can see right here, I'm by the pool. You can see the back of the house there. And she has a bunch of beautiful sitting spots that I absolutely adore because if I had this place, I'd have coffee out here every morning in every different spot that I could definitely find. But I'm gonna keep walking around to show you guys everything else that's going on here because it's, it's amazing. Got some hydrangeas back there. And so if you didn't catch it, Earlier, I asked her what her favorite plant was, and she said milkweed, this butterfly bush right here. This calicasia, this is a beautiful combination. You got some classic Bordeaux that everybody likes, and super being a red, I'm assuming, with some uh, yellow bells. And I wanna say that's the one of the lantanas that we have, beautiful lantana, and uh, Paradise Punch, maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but absolutely looking beautiful. Some, uh, maybe that's a little bit older, so it might be the Denim and Lace Sage with some lemon coral sedum down here. And some hardy hibiscus planted back there. Beautiful, beautiful garden. Got this uh, windows baskets here. Very Jack Barnwell ish, isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Yeah, so I love the way that looks. So look at this area, absolutely beautiful. Nice little table here. You can come out and enjoy some tea or coffee, whichever you prefer. Got some vegetables growing back here. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful garden beds. Some tomatoes growing over there. Oh, some buried treasure pink. Look at all these buried treasure pink. I'm assuming they're buried treasure pink. I don't know. And you got some meter shower verbena. Some superbina down there. Oh, I absolutely love these right here. Uh, the angel face. Beautiful. Some more dollars in here. And you have this lovely, beautiful arch right here. Some Rosita, we grew this one before. Beautiful. Love that there's so many here. There's that whirlwind scavola. And then they go in there because I know everybody probably wants to see that. So about to head in here and show you guys the inside of the little greenhouse here because it absolutely is amazing. Look at this rose here. Just love it. It's 
Go wide real quick. The aesthetics in here are just amazing. The seating arrangement, just great. This fern right here. The geraniums on the window here. The sink and potting area. Just everything about this is just aesthetics. Look at that, the little sign that says garden there. Just beautiful. And then there's the exit there, so. Oh, just a great little place. Moving on. Oh wait, I gotta grab the view. Look at the view out there. It's just beautiful. All right, so being in that little greenhouse is amazing. Felt just like a little house. I'm gonna ask Tracy if I can move into a greenhouse. But look at all this right here. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Try not to step on anything, but show you this path right here that leads up this way. Look how beautiful that looks. A little nice welcoming hello into the garage there. Some more hydrangeas. Just gonna walk up this way. I started off the little tour coming this way in the beginning, but look at all this. These little paths are absolutely beautiful. I adore them. And she has milkweed everywhere. That's just great. Attracts all these pollinators. Some more zinnias here. Look at this. Another little sitting area there that absolutely looks gorgeous and great. Begonias right here. Some more calicasia there. And that's that new Super Tunia. Can't wait to try that one. Some barberry back there. And then this nice seating area that overlooks the pool here. You have a fire pit here with four seats. Amazing. Oh, look at the little fairy garden right here by the bench. That is just awesome. Just a beautiful. So just a beautiful place to have a garden. Just relax, plenty of room out here. The birds are singing. It's nice and cloudy today, so it makes for good footage, not too bright. But man, this is all just beautiful. Absolutely love it out here. Limelight hydrangeas, the background of the pool there. I told my viewers I would try to convince you to let me live in your uh, greenhouse there. Yeah. It's com <laughs> it looks very homey in there. Yeah. It is the greenhouse or the pool house? Either, Either one. And here is the front of the house. Absolutely beautiful looking. Just plants everywhere. Those window boxes, amazing. The entrance, you can't say enough about the entrance. Those topiaries, ah, just looks great. Those ferns, the containers planted up there. Just looks beautiful, all the color. 
All right, everybody, so getting ready to close out this video. Absolutely had a blast here at Plaids and Poppy's home. Um, very hospitable. Uh, want to thank her very much for having us over for lunch. Thanking Walters Gardens as well, Peru and Winners Color Choice, and Peru and Winners, everybody in the whole shebang for having us come out here for the Creators Retreat. Uh, this is a great way to cap it off. Um, being able to come to another garden's home, and I know I just spoke to Tracy, absolutely enjoys the fact that other gardeners are enjoying her garden. Because um, it's just a great feeling to have other gardeners compliment your garden, not just, uh, and I wouldn't say just nobody, but just, just anybody coming to visit your garden. It's different than having an actual gardener come and compliment your garden because it makes you feel all that much more special. But um, yeah, this is great. I absolutely enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this content as well. I was glad to do it and happy that I was afforded the opportunity to be out here and be able to take this uh, this footage um, for this content and just do these tours in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.